You have a bee on you. Oh, Jared, get it off! This is not funny. This is not for the vlog. Get it off. Get it off now. Look, it's right there. Jared, get it off! What's up you guys? Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to our channel today. Oh yeah, we're out and about on a bike ride. <laughs> Look at this green screen <laughs> behind us, man. Look at this green screen. This is real life, you guys. This Do you want to cool. test it? Do you want to see if I fall into the green screen or not? <laughs> but it is beautiful. Oh, it is super beautiful. In fact, we just finished up with some work stuff, and so we decided to take the bikes out, go cruise around a little bit, and when we saw this, we knew it was a perfect spot to open up a vlog at. Welcome to Florida today, you guys. Oh, yeah. We came out to enjoy the bikes. We don't get out on our bikes. I know, nearly as often as we'd like to get no, on. We definitely do not. And so we were making it a goal to try and get outside every day, whether that's on bikes or scooters. Walking. Yes, especially since we have the great weather coming up. You guys, it's supposed to get so nice here. We're so excited for that. It was so awesome to see how many of you guys enjoyed yesterday's video yeah. of the rocket launch. Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go back, check it out. It was awesome. We saw a rocket launch that was three hours away from our balcony. Yes, and it looked like it was like right in front of us. <laughs> Crazy, it had at least three astronauts on it. Yeah. We literally saw it go across the sky. It was incredible. Yeah. And what we learned is actually the first all civilian space mission. Really? Yeah, I no astronauts are on board that. It's all civilians. All civilians? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's like you and me going. I know. You guys, we've actually <laughs> talked about this before. Would you go into space if you had the opportunity? Yes, actually. Remember would you, it was like a travel question. Yeah, it was a travel question. Jared, hit him with it. Okay, here we go, guys. Would you rather be able to visit your top three travel destinations like for as country. long as you want, or you get to go to space and walk on the moon? Ah! <laughs> so, guess what my answer was? Brittany was the three countries. Yeah, I said yeah. I'd rather go to three countries yeah. or my favorite countries as much as I wanted. Yeah, mine was actually walk on the moon. So, I yeah. love to travel, and I'd give that all up for those three different places. Oh, that freaks me out. I don't know if I could walk on the moon. To be able to go up to the moon and walk on it. Oh, you guys, we want to know, what would you do? <laughs> Which one? Let us yeah. know down below. We'd love to hear. <laughs> Break really quickly in a beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, this neighborhood is pretty awesome. I mean, this house in front of us is awesome. You may be wondering, where's little Finley? Why is he not in your basket? So sad, you guys. We'll talk to you about it in a little bit. But Finn has this little sore. Yeah. And he's not feeling the best. So we yeah. decided to leave him home tonight. I know. I think we're actually going to have to take him into the bed or at least research on what the sore is and how to yeah. fix it. But yeah. So when he got groomed, Jonathan said it was a licking sore. Yeah. And it's kind of down on his tummy yeah. a little bit. You have a bee on you. Oh, Jared, get it off! This is not funny. This is not for the vlog. Get it off. Get it off now. Look, it's right there. Jared, get it off. Get it off. Jared, Just shake it. your shirt. Oh, get it off. <laughs> oh, it won't go off. It won't go off. Okay, it's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. It's off. <laughs> oh my gosh. It go? <laughs> it's off. Where did it go? Did it fly? I think it flew off. Well, it was like stuck on there for a while. Where? Was it up here? I didn't see it. Yeah, it was. It was right there. And then it was on your chest for a little bit. <laughs> that was hilarious, guys. Was oh my gosh. Funny. If you guys aren't I subscribed, definitely bees. do it now. <laughs> I hate bees. You guys tell Jared he needs to be nice to <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we'll talk to you a little bit more about it. We'll show you when we get home, but yeah. he's just not doing the best. So, yeah. definitely missing him. Usually, he's in my cute little basket right here, popping his little head up and down. But tonight, we're just going solo.
was just saying that this neighborhood right here reminds her of the Golden Girls neighborhood. It does. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is the Golden Girls out there, like the long houses. It's filmed, well, it's set in Miami, but it totally reminds me. I don't know if that's in Golden Girls right there. <laughs> and I keep wanting to sing this theme song. Thank you for being a friend. I know, we were silently just kind of like biking, enjoying the ride and all of a sudden she busted out in the song <laughs> and I knew exactly what she was singing. It's so funny. Oh in fact, when Justin was here, it was so funny because Britt was telling him about Golden Girls and how it's like kind of themed here. And Justin laughed and said, I'm not even old enough to remember Golden Girls. Yeah. They were all making fun of me for watching it. I love it though. I think it's so funny. My favorite character is Sophia. Anyone else out there, do you agree? Let me know. I'm not alone. <laughs> hey, I watched it with Britt only because she loves it. And I actually really liked it. It was really funny. This is Britney's dream house right here. Oh, look at how beautiful. That is gorgeous. It's like Hawaiian slash a little colonial, but with those balconies. Yeah, that looks awesome. Shutters. This one too is really, really pretty. Yeah, this one's really pretty. I've got to say, the smells and the temperature right now are like pristine. It's amazing. It's I, awesome. I think it must be going through another season with fall. Because yeah. A ton more flowers are coming out, which is awesome. It's cool to see flowers actually blooming. I know. Different flowers instead of everything just like dying off. Like new things yeah. are actually blooming now. In fact, while moving here to Florida, I thought for sure there would be any seasons, but there still are seasons here. They're just different than yeah. what they are in Utah. Every season's just warm, which we love. <laughs> true, every season is warm. Oh my God. <laughs> to pull out the camera this is golden girls to a t look how fun this house is with that the is turquoise cool. and that fun door that is 100 golden girls oh my gosh i would live here in a heartbeat <laughs> that is so stinking cute hey, it's, for sale. it's for sale jared you guys what do you think i just love all the yards here in florida they're my favorite that's like my favorite part on these drives is just looking at everyone's beautiful yards We are back home now and I decided to take Finn out on a little walk. That honestly felt so good to take the bikes out. Like we have not done anything like that in a long, long time. Britt's actually upstairs resting right now. So I thought it'd be nice to take Finn out just for a quick little walk around our complex here. We love it here, guys. Like even like the sky right now, it's just beautiful. It's like blue and dark and purple all at the same time. In fact, the yacht show is coming up in October and we're really, really excited for it because apparently it's going to be like right here in this harbor. Speaking of boats, by the way, this boat behind me, that one right there like the smaller one I actually really like that boat a lot I always told Britt like if we ever ended up staying here long term and things were going well I would love to get a boat like that obviously if things were going really well I'd love to get a boat like this but <laughs> I've just seen a lot of families ride on that type of boat I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that have boats like that one maybe even bigger but anyway we like it I'm just gonna keep walking Finn for a little bit let him get his energy out then head on back up to the apartment and we got to fill you guys in with what's going on with Finn Finn's doing that thing, you guys, where he grabs the leash. <laughs> leads me. Oh, good boy. Thank you for leading me. Oh, yeah, you're going to take us? Okay, where are we going? I'll follow you. I love it when he does this. He's got like this little prance about it. <laughs> I'm curious, do any of your guys' dogs do this? Because I just think it's the cutest thing in the world when he does this. All right, guys, we are back home now. I decided to get showered and shaved. I have not shaved in a while. It's kind of bad. But anyway, I got showered and shaved, and I got the pup here with me. 
He is such a cutie. Oh, we just love him so much. <laughs> Finley, stop it. <laughs> he is seriously so cute. Okay, okay, I'll scratch you, I'll scratch you, I'll scratch you. And you guys, this is a sore right here. It's like on his inner thigh, like his tummy area. Jonathan, our groomer, said that it's a lick sore, but we're not entirely sure what it is. He said that he recommended that we put some ointment on it. The funny thing is that we didn't even notice it the entire time that Finn was like fully growing out. It was only until he got groomed that we noticed it because we couldn't see it beforehand. Anyways, we're gonna go get an opinion from the vet as soon as we can. We're gonna try to get it scheduled this week, if not the next week. I'm not really sure how it works out here. I know back in Utah, sometimes it did take a little bit of scheduling to get seen by a vet, sometimes like a month. So hopefully we can get seen a lot faster than that. It does seem like there's tons of people out here with dogs, so I kind of would feel like maybe there's a lot of vets too. I have no idea, but anyway, I'm curious if any of you guys out there have dogs with a similar source and you know what it is. If you do, definitely put it in the comments whether or not we should be concerned. If this is something that's not a big deal, then maybe let us know if there's some type of ointment that we can put on it or if it is something to be concerned about. Also let us know if you experienced something similar because we definitely want to make sure that Finley is taken care of. All right, you guys, well, I think that is gonna do it for us tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new to our channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on those notification bells so you don't miss out on anything. We also have some very fun plans coming up this weekend. As you guys know, Brittany is gonna be cooking for 80 people, which means we're gonna be doing a massive Costco haul coming up. So you guys are not gonna wanna miss that. I think it might actually surpass our last one, which was huge. So we will see, but that's coming up tomorrow. And then the actual event takes place on Saturday. Sunday, we always got fun stuff going on. Brittany actually headed off to bed. She had a headache, you guys, and so she decided to hit the sack a little bit earlier tonight. So I am left to say goodnight to all of you. And until next time, we love you and we'll see you later. Bye. Here, get it off. This is not funny. This is not for the vlog. Get it off. Get it off now. Look, it's right there. Here, get it off. Get it off. Here, Just shake your shirt. Oh, get it off. <laughs> oh, it won't go off. It won't go off. Okay, it's off. It's off. It's off.